Morning guys, it's Cheryl from my well-rounded life. Today's Thursday, it's uh, 10 to 12. So as usual, recently, I'm leaving the house later than I wanted to. I don't like getting there just as the uh, thing is starting. It starts at 12.15. I like to sit down and relax, make sure my phone's turned off, and then text everybody and tell them how much I lost. Oh, there's a big truck in front of me just going over the bump. He's from Maryland. Ooh, what's he doing here? Um, let's see. Let's hope for a loss today. I had two um, hiccups this week, food-wise, but then what's a week without a hiccup, right? Um, I had a very... I had a... Uh, an epiphany or a revelation something like that but I also had two little eating things on Sunday I bought a little container of bridge mix do you know what bridge mix is if you don't google it it's not like a favorite thing I guess I was just wanting chocolate and that was just in my mind and uh, I just got some it was in this plastic container and I ate it in one day and after I ate it I looked it up subconsciously I think I meant to do it that way and ooh, nobody yay and uh, the best I could find on the Walmart Walmart app on the Weight Watchers app was 10 points for a fourth of a cup now, I don't know how many fourth of cups were in there, but I think that's what I was trying to not find out by eating it all first and then looking it up. Savage. And that's not normal for me. It wasn't a lot. It really wasn't a lot. And I didn't eat it in one sitting. I ate it in three sittings. But all in one day, come on. That's not like me to do, really, even before Weight Watchers. Must have had a need. I don't know. But I would have been better off buying a Snickers for 12 points and just eating that and getting it over with. That's probably a third uh, of what I ate. Anyway, so that was on Sunday. And then um, I had to go to the grocery store. I, I went on Sunday. That's in the same place that I got the chocolate. I got a bag of Lay's Poppables. The sea salt ones. You get the most bang for your Weight Watcher Buck uh, with the sea salt ones. I haven't even attempted the other flavors. So I said to myself, I'm going to go ahead and divvy these up in baggies and, uh, you know, like two points at a time and then have them with my sandwiches and wraps. And uh, I didn't do that. I That same day, I was very upset. Something upset me. And I ate that and I was upset. I'm like, I'm just gonna sit here and eat from the bag and eat until I'm full. Not necessarily full, but you know when you get sick of eating something, it doesn't taste good anymore, or it, it loses the taste altogether? That's what I did, so I ate half the bag. The very next day, I ate the second half. And it was, it was lunchtime, and I'm like, I'm gonna eat this, and then I'm gonna have lunch. And then I said, after I was done, I said, you know what, that was your lunch. It was six points worth think. No, sorry, seven points. Who is next to me? Go away. It was seven points worth of chips and I said, there's your lunch. You can't eat again until dinner. Of course, I had a banana like around five o'clock because I don't like to eat dinner until about seven maybe. Um, and the banana held me over and those chips, they lasted for hours. So now both those days uh, with the chips, I stayed within my points. I didn't need to use any weeklies. I stayed within my 23 points and that was the end of it. But it was all, it was the choice. Sometimes it's not the fact that you stayed under your points. It's, it was the, the food that you chose to eat that isn't good. So the only time I, I went overboard as far as points were concerned was on Sunday with the bridge mix. And thank God it wasn't a large container. Thank God. I'm gonna say there was at least you know, I'm picturing a fourth of a cup scoop, and I'm picturing at least four, maybe five scoops. Yeah. 
so anyway but a couple days later um I was going through an emotional time this week and I just wanted to hang it all just let's just forget about it this week we'll pretend we're sick on Thursday and we can't go to Weight Watchers and we'll wait a week you know to recover and let's just go out let's just go and get Arby's or something and when I say let's that's just me talking to myself you know me I and myself all three of us and Jesus because he goes with me everywhere I go so the four of us we would just go and pig out um, but then I said you know what I, I can't do that I can't let the person or the reason that's upsetting me make me choose food to feel good over some other way to feel good and I stopped myself and I didn't do it and every single day this week I ate within my points um, except for the bridge mix and I didn't go out and get all the f delicious fast food that I wanted and, and, and the pizza and the RB fries and the, the cherry turnovers and all the things that were going through my head we're gonna get this we're gonna do that and we're gonna do it do it do it and I didn't plan on doing it all week it was just gonna be for that day um, but I guess I planned on eating everything in the city before bed that day um, and then just skipping today all together and I said no we're just gonna do the best we can this week and then we're gonna go to Weight Watchers on Thursday and we're gonna own the number on the scale no matter what it is and uh, we're just gonna go from there and so I think I grew up a little this week because I didn't allow my emotional state to control my um, my eating habits um, and that's what you know a lot of Weight Watchers is all about especially if you plan on doing this for the rest of your life if you plan on eating correctly for the rest of your life you have to start making changes up here and if I just gave in every time I was upset and had something to eat I'm never allowing myself to learn a lesson so the next time that I end up in that kind of position again I can remember what I did this time and that it worked and I can do it again because if I just falter and do what I want then the next time it happens it'll be even easier to just do what I want instead of what I should do and I want to keep making changes like that until what I want to do is the right thing I'm so upset I'm sad I'm depressed I'm angry I'm gonna go get my Bible out and I'm gonna pray and I'm gonna read and I'm gonna go find something else to do with my hands besides shoveling and that's for me in my life that's the good thing to do that's the right decision to make so I did that this week and I still don't know what the scales gonna say because of the chocolate and the chips uh, but you know I'll take a point two loss if that's what it is I didn't even get on the scale today like I normally do just before I leave the house that's because I'm wearing sandals with straps around my heel and I'm like ugh, ugh, um, nah. I'll just wait till I get there and take them off I always take my shoes off there you lay your paper towel down on top of the scale and step on it so anyway, um, those were my um, woes and my, um, I don't know what it was, victory. It was a mental victory this week, a non-scale victory, definitely, but a mental one. And then, you know, just before I left, this is stupid, but uh, I had to go into YouTube for something and I saw the picture of myself from last Thursday's. Uh, weigh-in update and I was wearing the same shirt this morning as that one and I'm like I can't wear that and I, and I had white sandals on with it so I went and changed into this and I've never worn this out before outside of the house but as I was putting it on I'm like oh this shirt is so thin it's like a real super thin cotton I'm like it's a third of the weight of the one I had on oh my gosh I could weigh less in this so anyway, does do any of you go through that on weight loss, on, on um, weigh-in day? What you're going to wear when you weigh? Of course, if you're at home, you could just get naked and, and that's it. But I can't get naked there. No. I just take off my shoes and for some reason I take off my glasses. I don't know. I don't know why, but 
I do. So, I didn't have any, um, well, my sister-in-law came for the weekend, and she stayed with my husband, and that's her brother, and they both came to church. It was the first time either one of them had been to this church that I'm going to, and so that was nice, and then the three of us and my mother went to dinner afterwards, and I got chef salad, no cheese, and I forgot to bring my dressing. I knew to bring it and I forgot it. So I just got the regular ranch and just used um, about two tablespoons of it. So that was really my only points. That was it. So it was delicious. And probably because it had real ranch on it. And you know there's a difference. No matter how much we like our Bolt House and Opa and um, Skinny Girl, when you get your tongue wrapped around some real ranch dressing or whatever your favorite is it's like oh. so that only happens once in a while unless mentally unconsciously I forgot my dressing on purpose I'll have to discuss that with myself later all right well um, after I finish with my meeting I have to go to Walmart to pick up my groceries did the grocery pick up again uh, this will be my fourth time. There's a couple things that I need. And I didn't realize I needed them until today. So after I pick up my groceries, I might just have to park and go in and pick them up. And that saddens me. And then I have to stop right here at CVS and pick up a prescription. I'm not going to do it now because it's facing the wrong way when I get out. And this is too busy of an area to try and turn left against traffic. I will not do it. So, I will hit it up on my way home so I can go with the traffic. It's much safer. Alright, this is the usual spot where I say goodbye because I've got nothing else to say right now until after the meeting. Oi, pray for me. Oi, see you later. Hi, guys. I'm leaving Weight Watchers. I was hoping for a, a point two after my bridge mix screw up, but I lost a 1.2. Can you stand it? I can hardly stand it. 1.2 pounds down. So I've lost 26.4 pounds total, and my weight is an even 236 right now. Oh, the traffic. Uh, okay. I'm heading to Walmart. My groceries are ready. And uh, super excited. 1.2. I'm so happy. I know I had the skinny feeling the last few days, so I knew I was down something. Um, I'm just going to keep eating the way I'm eating with my wraps and... You know, I get I eat one and two pound pound <laughs> one and two point wraps. They're delicious, and I got you guys a couple things from Weight Watchers for the giveaway. I need uh, just a few more. You know, then I'll do a separate video for the giveaway with the all of the contents and the rules, and uh, so we can look forward to that soon. I'll probably do it sometime next month after I've got you know. Well, it'll be a little more than 500 by the time I get to it. Um, but anyway, I just want to let you know, guys know that I did get a couple uh, Weight Watcher things to add to the mix of stuff. Ooh, there's that um, uh, Starbucks again. I wanted to say Subway, but Starbucks, like last week. Hmm, maybe I can grab a double espresso in a venti cup filled with ice like 239 I think it was maybe I'll do that again because I'm on my way home when I'm done with Walmart yeah that's an excellent treat with a nice ice cold chocolate premier protein yes I think Mama's gonna do that today all right well I'm only like seven minutes from Walmart from between Walmart and uh, my Weight Watchers meeting location and 
I, I think I told you I forgot a couple things. So I think after I get my stuff in the trunk, I will have to run in and get those couple things. Makes me mad. I hope they have everything I ordered. You usually, you don't know until they get to the car and then they say we have everything. Or, you know, or we had everything except for this. And if it's an important thing, then I'll have to go somewhere else to get it. If it's not important, then I'll run in and get my allergy pills. And I'm out of blueberries. I'm making a special low point dessert for the 4th of July. Whoops. And I want to, um, I ran out of blueberries this morning to make it. So I need to get some more. Oh. Big tents of fireworks already. Oh, and happy summer. Apparently this is the first day of summer. And it's also Jubilee Day here, so lots of people take off of work. It's a big street fair. The place gets closed. You can never get anywhere. I've lived here 25 years and I've never once gone to Jubilee Day. It just doesn't interest me at all. Not at all. So, well, here I am at the pickup line. Gotta go. Bye. Okay. I got my order. The only thing they didn't have at Walmart was some um, Purdue chicken strips. Fit and active pit, pick, <laughs> chicken strips or something like that. Um, so that's not bad. I mean, I'm okay. I got some chicken breasts as well. And I just left Starbucks. Got the same thing as last week. So I'm excited. And there's traffic. Oh boy, it's the mother load coming down the road. It's such a busy pike. So I'm going to do a dollar, not a Dollar Tree haul, a grocery haul, but I'm going to do it separate from this video. Just check it. Because I don't, you know, these videos are long enough and eh, and that way if you don't want to see the video of a, a haul, then you can just skip that video. Oh, there's a break. It's coming. Etc. Etc. So that's what I'm gonna do for y'all. I think from now on. I mean, unless my weigh-in uh, videos end up becoming, you know, like three minutes, which how could that be? I don't know. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video now. And if you're interested in seeing the Weight Watcher haul, uh, rather Walmart haul, what's wrong with me? I think I'm hungry. I am hungry. I have grapes somewhere. So. I'm super excited for my 1.2 loss. I have grapes. I brought them into the meeting and I only ate one. I'm gonna go home and have a wrap for lunch and um, I'm either going out to eat with my mother or having her come over for dinner. I'm not sure. But we'll go somewhere. And that one was juicy. <coughs> okay, we'll go somewhere nice if we go out. Mm. These cotton candy grapes don't taste very cotton candy-ish. Once in a while I taste one. I'm not sure. It's too cold in here. Hmm. Okay. I've bantered enough. I'm out of here. Till I see you again. Be blessed.